Hey guys, Mike here at Amaze Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to do a short tutorial and we are going to explain the wedge tool. Now it's been around for a while, but it's uh, actually a very neat uh, and useful tool. Uh, so I'll set up a quick scene and show you what that's all about. Okay, so we're simply going to create a polygon cube. We're going to drag that up. And let's give that some subdivision. So we're going to pull up our uh, attribute editor. Just hit Control A, and we'll do six by six by six. And let's just imagine that this is the leg of a I don't know robot, right? Okay. And we want to create a toe here at some point. All right. Now what we're going to do is make sure your modeling toolkit is open. Just double click on that, that's right. And make sure you got multi component selected. All right. Now we're going to select these faces. There we go. And then we're going to select these edges. There we go. Okay. So we got these faces. Looks like I got one edge selected there, and I don't want that. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that's what we've got. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, and we're going to go down under Face to Wedge. All right. So what you see is that this thing pops out here, right? And what you can do is you can go into your channel box, and I'll just open that. And under Inputs, if you select a Poly Wedge Face, here's your wedge angle. So if you select that, and inside your panel here you drag your mouse holding your middle mouse button you can do all kinds of uh, cool things right you can drag it in to get that shape or you can pull it out and you could even go as far as this right here now you could for example use this for let's say i don't know a canopy on a building right or a smoke vent on a boat or something like that or like I said, you know, a toe for a leg and so forth. All right. So that's all there's to it. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.